on the night of August 25, 2020. Protesters and groups of armed men who said they were there to protect businesses gathered in Kenosha. Among the armed men was then 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. We don't have non-lethal. Using multiple videos obtained and verified by ABC News, as well as the criminal complaint against Rittenhouse filed on August 27th, we put together a detailed timeline of the shootings that happened in downtown Kenosha on August 25th, 2020, two days after Jacob Blake was shot by the police. Moments later, shots ring out. From what I saw, they attacked him first. This is, I'm in a weird position right here because I'm like... Rittenhouse's lawyer released a three-page statement arguing his client feared for his life and was acting in self-defense. That's what it looked like. The shooting left two people dead and another injured. So far, I'm seeing this. Uh, Kyle looked like he was attacked. It, damn, are you okay? Fuck, that looked like a long-ass fucking fall. She's ready for this. I know I am. So that way, when she jumps out at me, I'm not as scared. It's not even scary. Run him over. Bet you won't do it. Uh, okay. Chill! I'm seriously, I'm gonna fight you right now. Wait, Wait Mia. Ah! Oh, oh shit. Hey, girl. No, thank you. There's a hot topic going around the internet, and I literally have no fucking idea, like, about it that much. So, what I was gonna do is, I was just gonna do some research. Instead of blindly giving opinions, which... You know, is what a lot of people do. I honestly didn't even, uh, I don't know when this happened. I don't know where it happened. There was so much shit going on uh, during that time that I just, I guess this is one of the ones that just kind of slipped by me. I just want to know what happened. Shooting timeline. Should we start right there, maybe? So there's some people that saying... He got off and there's some people cheering for him not being guilty. Black Friday sale, I'm absolutely not paying for that. Okay, thank God there's a video, so let's watch this video. Mm. Hello, fresh. All right, let's watch this. On the night of August 25th, 2020, protesters and groups of armed men who said they were there to protect businesses gathered in Kenosha. Among the armed men was then 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. We don't have non-lethal. Using multiple videos obtained and verified by ABC News, as well as the criminal complaint against Rittenhouse filed on August 27th, we put together a detailed timeline of the shootings that happened in downtown Kenosha on August 25th, 2020, two days after Jacob Blake was shot by the police. This report contains graphic, disturbing images. At 10.04 p.m., a video shows a group of armed men protecting a car shop at the corner of 59th and Sheridan. One young man in a green t-shirt and backwards baseball cap says, A little over an hour later, protesters gathered at an ultimate gas station at 60th and Sheridan. We see a man who appears to be Joseph Rosenbaum, one of the shooting victims, clash with armed men, also gathered. Back at the car shop at 59th and Sheridan, the same young man who appears to be Kyle Rittenhouse can be seen asking law enforcement for water. And the officers can be heard speaking to the group. We appreciate you guys, we really do. One young man in a green t-shirt and backwards baseball cap says, I'm Kyle A little over an hour later, protesters gathered at an ultimate gas station at 60th and Sheridan. So here's one thing that kind of, and this is just like I'm learning as I go. Um, he, right there, he wanted people to know his name. <laughs> like I was kind of, uh, he wanted attention, some type of attention. So that kind of puts me on an on a uneasy pedestal at like as of right now. We see a man who appears to be Joseph Rosenbaum, one of the shooting victims, clash with armed men, also gathered. Back at the car shop at 59th and Sheridan, the same young man who appears to be Kyle Rittenhouse can be seen asking law enforcement for water. And the officers can be heard speaking to the group. We appreciate you guys, we really do. 
At 11.48 p.m., gunshots ring out. Those are gunshots down there. First four bursts, uh -oh. then three. A man who police identified as Rittenhouse runs across the parking lot of an auto service shop, followed by a shirtless man who was later identified as Joseph Rosenbaum. Moments later, shots ring out. I did not know it was going like this. Okay, so obviously this is going to be some graphic content. Um, I have no idea if I'll get like temp bound or shit from this, but uh, we'll see. And the shirtless man falls to the ground. A figure who appears to be Rittenhouse continues running. Seconds later, he comes back into view and bystanders arrive to help the victim. Rittenhouse can be seen standing by the body, making a phone call. As more people arrive, he runs away out of frame, and someone seems to be heard saying, I shot somebody. Okay, so he called. At 11.49, multiple videos show Rittenhouse running down. I feel like he may have called the police. On the street as a pursuer tries to hit him. Rittenhouse is being chased by several people when he appears to stumble and fall to the ground. While on the ground, police say he fires at least four shots, striking two people. Anthony Huber is shot and lies motionless in the street. Gage Grosskreutz is shot in the arm and appears to be holding a handgun, according to the criminal complaint. Rittenhouse gets up and runs down the street as police arrive at the scene. People in the crowd can be heard yelling. Rittenhouse raises his hands while his rifle hangs around his torso, and a number of police vehicles drive past him. He walks towards a squad car which is parked near the First United Methodist Church. This is the last time we see him on video ABC News obtained. Rittenhouse was not arrested that night in Kenosha. The last night, a 17-year-old individual from Antioch, Illinois, was involved in the use of police issued an arrest warrant for him the next day and Kyle Rittenhouse turned himself in in Antioch, Illinois. He was arrested on multiple charges including first degree intentional homicide. According to police, Rittenhouse said he was in Kenosha to resolve whatever conflict was in place. Mm. In an earlier interview, Rittenhouse said he was there to protect businesses and help people. I want I wish I would have known so what happened I wish I would have known what happened right here. I mean, I'm going to do some more digging, but... See, from this, it looks like they attacked him. Which, in that case, there's really no gray area. Because it took a... Like, from what it, this video makes it look like, it took a minute for even what I'm assuming is Kyle to shoot the guy. The but the... So that's, I'm assuming, is Kyle, and that's someone else. He throws shit at him. Still, he hasn't shot anything. An auto service shop, followed by a shirtless and man who was later identified as Joseph Rosenbaum. Moments later, shots ring out. <sighs> so far, I'm seeing this. Uh, Kyle looked like he was attacked, but then he, like, after... <laughs> After a while, it seems like he chased the guy and shot some more, which, I don't know. I feel like the guy running off, that should have been it. But, uh, like, I feel like Kyle shouldn't have chased him, if that's what happened. And the other guy, I mean, the other guy shouldn't, like, have attacked him with an AR. But also, Kyle shouldn't have had an AR. <laughs> I don't know. This is, uh, from what I saw, they attacked him first. This is, I'm in a weird position right here because I'm like... Rittenhouse's lawyer released a three-page statement arguing his client feared for his life and was acting in self-defense. That's what it looked like. The shooting left two people dead and another injured. Kyle Rittenhouse pleaded not guilty to charges including first-degree reckless homicide, first-degree intentional homicide, and first-degree recklessly endangering safety. The trial will begin in November 2021, more than a year after his arrest. If convicted, the now 18-year-old faces life in prison. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> because there's not much to go off of. So first and foremost, huge advocate. Uh, I'm a huge advocate and ally of Black Lives Matter. Um, 
But in this situation from the video that I saw, and I'm going to do some more digging, so far I'm just like, it already looked like a dangerous situation. And some of the, like, some of the freaking protests and stuff got pretty fucking intense. I do feel like there's some actions that happened within when all of this was going on that it escalated to the point of there's really no defending anything that happened. Because the whole scenario, the whole entire scenario that I saw was wrong. All of it. One, you shouldn't be killing innocent people in general. Period. So, the whole, when Ger George Floyd died, when, uh, what's the other guy's name? I want to know the other guy's name. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. Perfect. Just a meal you make every night and catch your breath. We'll I feel sorry for the business owners and the people that had to clean it all up. Everyone else out there that night can kick rocks. The government should have stopped it. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, there's... From that video alone, I feel like all all of it was the wrong answer. <laughs> On August 23rd, 2020... Jacob Blake. Okay. Okay. I knew it was Blake something. Okay. So, this right here, wrong. If there's no immediate threat no one should die over something no one should die over something th that isn't <laughs> isn't a threat you've got other countries and stuff that don't even carry around lethal bullets it's like rubber rubber bullets and stuff like that so th that right there is wrong but then also later on like okay so this is a protest i'm seeing a protest right now this could still pass as a protest but then all this shit right here they were there to protect See, I'm wondering, there's not enough video footage because I'm just like, you don't know what happens in situations like these because these protests, some of them did turn into riots and like the whole sparking and shit right there. Like, you don't know if that's the fucking, uh, the, the police or you don't know if it's the protesters. These protesters right here has got umbrellas and stuff, so they're guarding. But also it could have been anyone that was setting that stuff off. So it's just like these videos don't really show that much and from what i'm seeing it was a, di a a dangerous situation altogether this boy right here is 17 years old at this point as well and this is why i'm saying like the whole thing is wrong to me because this boy is 17 years old where the f like why the fuck was he out with an ar he's not even he he's not even an adult yet like technically he's not even an adult so it's just like where like why was he even out there and i understand that he was trying to like protect businesses and such like that but dude come on like I, Armed men was then he i feel like he shouldn't have been out there and that right there see i don't like that he tried to like have attention either be right here when he was like oh my name is Kyle by the way so he kind of like he wanted to be noticed but that doesn't have anything to do with the stuff that he that he done because okay right here hold on and you don't know if who instigated the stuff like this to happen because there's shitty people all the all the way around there could have been some protesters that started being violent. Or there could have been police that were being violent. And this is a dangerous situation altogether. He, I think all in all, he was he's too young to be out there. I don't know. I don't know what type of person he is. I don't know, like, any of that stuff. But I think he should have gotten, I feel like he should have gotten something. He should have gotten something. His parents should have gotten something.